점수 잡는 hackers. Hi and welcome back to Hackers SAT Prep Reading. I'm your instructor Monica Chen. Uh, today's lecture is the fourth, the last of the four lectures where we discuss the different strategies and tips for approaching the four different types of questions that test your reading comprehension skills on the SAT reading. All right, so this is chapter seven entitled Analyzing and Synthesizing Information. All right, so let's take a look at these question type. Firstly, the analyzing and synthesizing information questions make up approximately eight of 52 questions on your reading section. Now, the order will always come on the end of each test set. So that could be questions from 1821, uh, from 28 to 31, 38 to 41, or 49 to 52. So we know that we will be offered uh, if you do recall the earlier uh, introduction lecture, that we will have one literary passage, two passages from um, social sciences, and two passages from the science. So uh, because this is the synthesis of information and some questions that involve actually uh, synthesizing some uh, quantitative data, it, we, the literary section or literary passage will be excluded from this question types. So do expect uh, either passages from social science or the sciences. All right, so we can divide the two, uh, this question into two types. The first is the analysis of paired passages. This means that you'll be offered two different passages on the same topic. Um, the second group is the analysis of quantitative data. You will be offered some graphics and you'll be asked to analyze the data and understand the data or interpret it in context to the reading passage. All right, so today's lesson, we are covering, of course, both subcategories of the question. We will begin with the analysis of paired passage and finish with the analysis of quantitative data. For each of the two question types, we will go through some question uh, format examples. Then we will review a strategy and apply the strategy onto a reading passage. Right, so make sure that you go through the questions uh, and the reading passage before uh, you proceed with the rest of this online lecture. All right, so let's begin with the analysis of paired passage. So there are a range of questions that could come up here for the paired passage. Uh, let's review the first type, which is questions that ask you to discuss the overall passage relationships. So uh, questions look as such. Which choice identifies a central tension between the two passages? So what is the tension or what is the argument or the objective of the debate uh, that we can find between these two passages? Uh, or it could be which choice best states the relationship between the two passages? Or which best describes the overall relationship between passage one, passage two? So we want to uh, gain a holistic or a entire picture or the big picture of the two passages and discuss the relationship between the two. All right, or questions could be about the purpose. So for the purpose and function question, we can actually separate them into two. Uh, some questions will ask you about the main purpose of both passages. As such, the main purpose of both passages or the main purpose of each passage is two. Right, so both are asking you actually about the objective or the purpose of both passage. Now, however, other questions about function and purpose can be made more specific. So let's take a look at some of the example question format. In the context of each passage as a whole, the questions in line X of passage one and lines X of passage two primarily function to help each author. So the question is asking you to consider how the specific lines from each of the passage actually contribute uh, in establishing the, uh, the idea of the each author and how they, they're relevant. Uh, the second time in lines X, the author of passage two refers to a stated uh, a statement made in passage one in order to. So again, here the question is asking you to focus on the author of passage two but to consider how perhaps the author of passage two actually discusses a point or a statement that we can verify not in passage two, but in passage one, right? So uh, we need to analyze both reading passages as well. All right, let's take a look at another type of questions that could come up. 
So the agreement between the passages. So they're asking, what are the commonalities between the two uh, reading passages? So they could look at such. On which of the following points would the author of both passages most likely agree? So they point that they would agree. On the second, based on the passage, both authors would agree with which of the following claim. So again, uh, having to understand what would be the main argument or the uh, perspective of the authors. The author of both passages would most likely agree with which of the following statement. Again, uh, what we think that they would agree with, uh, something that requires you to understand their perspectives. Both authors would most likely agree that, based on the passage, one view that author from passage one and the author of passage two have in common is, so again, asking you to consider the commonalities between the two. So based on these example formats of the question, we know that we're actually looking for the tone uh, or uh, similarities in their argument. Right, so have that in mind. All right.